Hello, this is Christian. In this video, we'll be looking at how to embed PHP scripts in an HTML document. So uh, we're going to follow these um, uh, objectives. Two things we want to learn is one is how to embed PHP scripts in an HTML document by using this syntax here. As you can see, you can uh, use that statement to put out any uh, code inside that between the tag and you can perform a lot of other stuff inside the tag as well. The other way is how you embed the expression or using expression tags in the HTML document. Uh, it looks something very similar except now you use a different tag. You basically replace the word PHP with the equal operator and that is now becoming an expression. So let's see how these are done in the PHP file. Okay, so in here in the IDE, again we're using PHP Storm. I'm going to create a new file and we'll call this one here just um, what should I call this one here? I guess embed. Okay, so let me remove all these here. Now this is a PHP file has a lot of um, um, you know I should I'm trying to do I should have done differently. So let's go and create another file, and I'll create an HTML file instead. So it has all these syntax for us already, and I'll call the same name embed. Okay. So it has all these scripts here. I'm going to copy all this and put inside my PHP here. Okay, so I'm going to close this one here. Okay, so this is a PHP file. As you can see, even though it's all in um, HTML, it doesn't matter. Okay, and this is why we say we're embedding PHP scripts inside HTML, or you want to say the other way around and say you're embedding HTML inside a PHP script. But really, it's a uh, it's a PHP file and PHP file you can have HTML content so if I run this file on the on the um, browser you will see that it should um, render what you see there just like a regular a file did it show yes yeah, try again click on the right side this should have this little thing show up here it's a show up here now I think my screen is freezing up okay so here it is Probably did it twice or something. Okay, so this is it. I know there's nothing there because we didn't put anything there yet. But let me close this and, and put something here so we can see. Uh, I put H1 here to say hello, PHP. Save that. Okay, go back to my little browser here, refresh it. So there's the message here. Okay, this is in PHP. It is a PHP file. As you can see here, the file says embed.php. Okay, this thing on the right side is just a session variable uh, code that it tells the browser that this is a very specific file with a different session ID. That's all. Part of PHP Storm. So this is what the file is. The content, as you can see, it's just all HTML, exactly what you see here. Okay. So what happens is that when the engine, again, with the uh, Zen engine comes along, it sees this whole thing here. Oh, everything here from here from line one all the way down to line ten. It's all HTML. So ignore all of those. You don't have to parse anything like that. It is no interpretation here. Just render as it is to the browser. So it sends this off out to the browser, and that's what you see. Okay. So now because this is an HTML, I mean a PHP document, I can now embed PHP scripts. Okay. PHP scripts can be embedded anywhere in this document. It doesn't matter where. Is it before the doc type, or after, or in between? It doesn't really matter. Or even in between these tags. Okay. It it doesn't really matter. That's why you can say that's why it is uh, embeddable inside anywhere inside your script. Okay, um, you can put it here. You can put it inside here. It doesn't matter, right? As long as it's legal. Um, so, but this is not typical. Uh, sometimes you do. Here are usually expressions. Okay, but let's just say that if I put this inside a PHP script tag, this is the PHP script tag. Once I do that again, it tells. If I didn't close that, right? So now, because this is the beginning of its script, so all of these becomes invalid statements, right? Because you are mixing like a PHP, expect, expecting PHP script with HTML content, and the engine doesn't know what to do with that. Okay, so you either have to uh, close this. So now this is only this piece, the PHP script. The rest is now in HTML mode, so the parser ignores all that. That's one way, or convert all of these into a string. That means I could do like echo here, and I put a comma, a semicolon, I mean a single quote, single quote, 
in that statement. So now it's all valid uh, PHP script. The reason why I put a single quote here is because inside here I have a double quote. Right, so I want to make sure it's only single quote all the way. If you put a double quote here, like that, and you close it with a double quote, okay, you see this an error because you have a double quote and a double quote, and so this one in the beginning, and once you find another one, this is the end of that, and now this is invalid. So now you are in back end, and that's just invalid. So to to fix this, you have to use single quote all around it, or you can escape these internal quotes with a, uh, a backslash like this all of them wherever you use them you have to do this so that they will work so as you can see now it's completely happy and you're fine with that so that's two ways to do it and this is not the preferred way because I'm putting everything inside this construct echo okay it's really hard to manage um, so it'll work as you can see if I put say that and I put hello PHP put something here so you can see if I put on a browser refresh it you see the content looks just fine and the view here is absolutely no problem okay but it's really hard it's really ugly in, in your code okay so we see something like this if there's a lot of HTML and, and and like this then you would escape out of that of the PHP code so don't use it right don't use PHP mode just go straight to HTML because after all it will be rendered by the browser just fine and as you can see there's no problem with that okay so it's save you a lot of typing uh, prevent yourself from escaping all these special characters here and any other additional content will not be um, uh, having problem with the PHP script okay so um, that's one way to do it and the reason why you want to put PHP above is because if you put like uh, uh, you know any variables or any other um, things out there then you can call it below it okay we'll do the variable stuff in the next uh, section uh, but um, this is how you do how you embed scripts okay you can put before after or in between so usually this is the being of my my document and maybe the title here can be embedded um, you can embed a script in here I can do like um, do that PHP and close that right to print the title of this page I could do an echo statement right echo the statement call um, hello PHP this is the title of the page so I'm embedding a script okay embedding a script inside the title tag okay so that is for embedding script inside a tag uh, you can also put inside here if you want now this part here and I will uh, show you the expression expression will be equal sign something like that and then you close it with the angle bracket here as well expression inside here must be only expression so this is not a valid statement expression expression will be something you, you call a function to print something or you do like a 2 plus uh, is something with math, math operation like 2 plus 2 3 times 9 whatever it is or if you just basically print a statement and this would be like a statement so I mean a plain string so you just basically put the string here like this in double quotes and that is a string so this is after all an expression to print this out so this one here I mean this whole part here expression is identical to the echo statement here okay so basically I'm replacing the word echo here with the expression tags here and here and so I'm printing whatever is in between the double quotes here that's why you see inside the double quotes okay so if I say this and um, let's put something else here I put another like symbol here to make it different and now if I go back and refresh this page you will see that you have to add the pound symbol here the title has been changed to hello PHP uh, where was just say title before if you look in the code here the original one says title okay if you refresh this it should change to say hello PHP all right so that's how you embed PHP scripts inside HTML and expression inside HTML just remember that we do if you use the script the PHP tag here you can only put regular PHP statements in here I can't just say that Okay. If you do that, 
um i don't think that's gonna work but what's what's c okay that's invalid um uh, statements i see there's nothing there okay so it does not know what to put there right because it, it's not it's not a you're not printing something out to the screen to print something you have to echo it so this is echoing this is just a print string nothing there okay so um that's how you do that this is for simple um you know example to show you how you print something to the, to the screen here i could do more than this here because this is it tells me this is a regular php script i can do all sorts of stuff and have a couple of functions in here i could do something like this you know it doesn't be a single line right as long as i'm inside this opening and closing script tag i'm safe so here i could do a variable name called uh, title equals you know hello php this is this the title of that page semicolon and then echo that title instead of the string itself okay like that so this is a php script okay so I'll save that here and this is a different string i could echo that same title variable down here too so instead of this string i could just put the title here okay so i can see that this is an expression this is a php script and to output data to the screen you have to use the echo statement or the print statement but in expression you don't you can't put echo here if you if you do that you're like doing twice right so you can't put here or um the print will be fine okay even though they're both printing out data to the uh, thing so the print is like a function so that's fine echo is not and the reason is because the echo will we learn function later i put here does not return a value okay the print returns a value of one if it's print successfully so this is, has no return statement this one does that's why anything that's returnable can be used inside the expression this is not so therefore you cannot put it okay so this is again redundant i don't have to do that because this is all it needs to be done so if i save this and review and refresh my page Okay, you see that in the source code look just like before nothing different except that the value is e equal to the title because i'm using the same variable name we'll learn about variable next week and refresh this you see that the title of the page and the content here will be exactly the same because i'm basically showing the same title throughout these scripts here all right so uh, this is how you embed scripts inside a document an html document So uh, the last piece here before we go is notice I did all my code here inside the tag. I'm just showing you how this is done. This is not how it should be done. Okay, it's not ideal uh, to put your code inside the tag like this. Uh, so normally here you would have the expression here, okay, or the echo statement only. So let me just do this again. And so to do it correct way, right, you want to have the correct um, way is to do this. You can echo that out. Or you can uh, do the expression. I'll show you both ways how it works. So this is fine. Now this title has to have some kind of text. So usually you do before the script here. So above out here in the document, I will have my PHP tag. Now close that tag. And then out here I put my variable name. Title is equal to hello PHP. Okay. That is where you put your code inside the own separate tags so that it's nicely uh, contained it's easy to manage to see them separate your PHP from your HTML documents and vice versa um, also really easy for debugging purposes and so inside the HTML part you only put what's uh, need to be in there like if you want to put a title then you echo that in here or you just use the expression to do that and, and so on okay and sometimes you can put PHP script here too if you have something you want to do uh, so you can go inside the body tag here and put inside the PHP uh, tag in here so yeah as you can see I have two parts right so one's up here one is in here too and this is a third one so three tag three scripts this is an expression so I cannot put anything other than that just print something out but inside here I might have something like um, you know 
show something to the screen right after the h1. So I could do like print and then here put like h2 or h3. Uh, welcome to PHP course. Like that. And then I can close my h3 tags. And then again, it's a statement. So uh, you can put a semicolon if it's the only statement or if it's the last statement there. You don't have to but it's always best practice to put a semicolon to end that statement. So if I save this, and uh, that should uh, be fine. Another reason why you want to put this thing down here is maybe down here I have like a, a footer area, okay? Instead of footer, um, you could put like, you know, um, you know the copy symbol, right? The copy symbol, at copy, and then, uh, and then you want to echo out maybe a, a message like, this copyright. So it's a variable name. You can put a variable name here. And I'll put the message to the PHP to the site here. And I could put like maybe here or up here, doesn't matter. I can say copyright equals um, all rights reserve. And then whatever it is, right, Christian, something like that. So you echo that out to the footer of that page, okay? And you can make this really tiny. You can say, you know, um, well, we can make it italic, right? Inside the italic tag. And save that. And if you refresh the browser, and you see that there is the footer of that. And this is the second statement I put here inside H3 below the h1 tag in the source code you see again the different tags here uh, code here okay so this is uh, the better way to do it put all your script all your code inside its own script tag if you need to embed somewhere else inside the body of your document like this you can do that inside the body directly here if you print that right here it'll be displayed in that position at line 16 here uh, and then of course down here the footer is something else you also put in there so you can see, I can, uh, I'm in, I'm going to the uh, uh, PHP mode, HTML mode, back to PHP mode again, out HTML, back in PHP, out and out. So you see how this goes, right? It's very common to do this, and this is what to call a, um, a string interpolation. Okay, I want to use an expression like this. Okay, I'm, I'm change, I'm, you know, performing an interpolation here. I'm, this becomes a string output to the browser. Okay, so I hope this is helpful.